And I think this is live. So let me make sure we're live. Hello, 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 and welcome. And uh, I'm, on, I'm on the, you, on the okay. link. And we are too, live and... right now. We are live. Okay. Is Guido back? Yes. So uh, hello and welcome. We are about to start the concert, and uh, it's going to be Solos from Solitude. Tango, and my name is Alex Reutman. I'm going to be your host tonight. And uh, here in the studio with me, I have uh, Mr. Pablo Estigaribia, all the way from Buenos Aires. Hey, how you doing? Pleasure to be here, as always. And uh, I also have here Mr. Guillermo Garcia. Guillermo, I just muted you. You'll have to unmute, because uh, I Yeah, I'm sorry. So, uh, Guillermo is uh, originally from Bahia Blanca, but he's uh, coming to us from uh, Berkeley, California, which is uh, very close to where I am. So I'm in San Francisco, Guillermo is in Berkeley, Pablo is in Buenos Aires, and here also we have Mr. Guido Gavazza, who's going to play Bandoneon, and he's coming from Guido. Rosario. Guido. And uh, it's a very... Uh, interesting group of musicians uh all good friends of mine i'm very happy to have them here and uh, we're gonna let uh, a few minutes pass for people to take their seats right now so uh there's some people watching but uh we're gonna just uh take a few minutes to chat a little bit so uh, uh please uh take your seats fill up your glasses and we'll start the show in a few minutes so pablo let me bring you up and um uh, Tell me what is going on uh, artistically with life right now that everything is isolation. What are you busy with? Well, I mean, it's, it's not uh, news that everyone is pretty much just staying at home and taking care of themselves and their loved ones. And that this is very important. I think it's a great time to uh, start creating new things, try to rediscover yourself. Uh, study online. Um, I'm very excited. I'm studying composition online, and uh, I I uh, started studying piano online too, uh, classical music. Mm -hmm. And it's I think it's a it's a great time to just stop and rethink what you're doing and see if you want to change something. Just stay where you are. Maybe maybe move some chips. You know what I mean? So you're studying online, but you're also teaching online. I'm assuming. Yeah, I'm very fortunate. I um, I started teaching online a couple of years ago because I was traveling a lot, and now it's I teach a lot online because you can't travel at all. <laughs> right. But still, teaching teaching online is great, and I have I have students from all over the world. I was telling you before I had my first student from China this week, and uh, yeah, I'm very excited about that too. And writing a lot for my students. I, I already released a second book of arrangements for students. For so your first book was, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, your first book was a very uh, advanced level and now we have an intermediate level book for you know easier level arrangements. Is that right? Yeah, the thing is that the first book I wrote was uh, targeted to uh, concert pianists. Uh -huh. And then uh, when I started getting like intermediate students, I started writing for them. And then I put them all together in a book and I thought it was, it was nice to put it, you know, at reach for everyone. Yeah. Great. And, uh, at some point, uh, so Pablo has a great website, pabloestigaribia.com. Is that right? Yes. That's and, exactly uh, right. lots of materials there, all the, uh, uh, arrangements in full, 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 full detail. So, uh, He'll probably type it in the comments later, but feel free to check it out. So I'm going to switch to Guido. Hey, Guido, I just uh, watched your concert with your group last week. It was amazing. So I understand you guys just released the CD. Is that right? Yeah, yes, we are uh, preparing the second CD. Uh, thanks, Alex, uh, to watch the, the stream. Yeah, it was a great show. It was a very, very surreal experience. They had a show that was streamed from the theater. So the musicians were all together, quintet, piazzolo style quintet, electric guitar, and then piano, bass, uh, bandoneo, and violin, and the singer. And there was no audience. There was amazing quality production, actually. The lights and the sound, it was all immaculate. And 
no audience. So they stop playing and there is silence. And there is like 200 people on YouTube all raving and posting that it's... Uh... Yes, it's, it's so strange. It's a new, new thing. Um, yes, the, the theater is a, a center, cultural center mm -hmm. called um, Centro Cultural Atlas. It's, mm -hmm. uh, I think the work very very good uh, here in Rosario. It's a good center of cultura. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was a great theater. Cool, we'll chat more later. So, uh, Guillermo... So, yeah, I, I think I lost it. What uh, cultural center was it? Centro Cultural Atlas. Oh, you know, they, they have my piano. You know that, right? No. Yeah, they actually that that Yamaha baby grand they they have on uh -huh. stage. That was mine when I went to go go live in the United States. I, I sold it to the Atlas. That used to be my piano. Oh, it's a small world. It is a small world. Okay. We practice with the orchestra, uh, orchestra utopica all the weeks. Right now. Oh, really? Yeah, yes. Yeah, so with uh, is is that Lucas Querini? Uh, no, the pianist is. Um, Federico Abel. Ah, Federico. Yeah, I know. He's the one that got it from me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, awesome. All right. Cool. All right, Guillermo. So uh, let's hear from you. What's going What's going on with you? What are you doing in the hey. time of the virus? Well, uh, quarantine in Berkeley, you know, uh, uh, as everybody, a uh, lot of time at home. And uh, so lots of time to prepare new arrangements for the guitar. Uh, I have the intention to record some tunes later in the year. Uh, so I'm preparing some material. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, I, you know, I also like working on music technology. So I'm busy with that as well. Of course, uh, yeah. Yes. And so you're going to play a new arrangements tonight? Uh, I will play some some new arrangements tonight. Okay. Yeah, yes. Nice. Yeah. All right. So uh, it's eight oh six. Proof that we are live. Eight oh six in California. Twelve oh six past midnight in Argentina. So uh, I think we should get going. Or do you guys want to chat about anything else? You good? That's good. All right. So let me uh, lift the curtain. So here we, uh, there's, there's four of us. So uh, I'm going to say a few words who we are and why, why are we doing this? So this whole series, Souls from Solitude, is just, uh, uh, I had this idea that uh, it's good to have some music. It might not be as good an experience as the real concert, you know, it might not be as full as us playing with groups. So all of us here, I mean, I'm hosting tonight, but all these three guys, they play with multiple groups. We all love playing with other musicians. It's very hard. So this is the format that seems to be uh, working in this time over the internet better than others. So I think it's uh, good to play music rather than not. And uh, I, I, I like having these great musicians play tango because I mean, we, we all love playing tango music. And uh, without further ado, I'd like to hand it over to Mr. Guido Gavazza to play, to introduce what he's going to play and take it away. It's all yours, Guido. Uh, I'm going to start um, playing in La Sombra from Joaquin Mora with Astro Piazzolla's arrangement. I want to uh, dedicate the next interpretations to my mother, uh, who is in the next room listening, because she is a fair beach day. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. 
This was great. So, uh, in Las Sombras, Joaquin Mora arranged by Astor Piazzolla, performed by Guido Gavazza. Guillermo, sorry, I had to mute you again. I, I'm going to have to ask you to unmute. Uh, Guillermo, 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 we can't hear you. You have to unmute yourself. I'm sorry. So, uh, while he is changing that, uh, I think Guillermo, I think he's going to play one of his own arrangements. Is that right? Yes. Uh, no, you're still muted, Guillermo. You're still muted. It was almost good for one second. Technology, right? Yes, there. Now we hear you. Perfect. Pop that window for unmuting was not popping up. Yeah. So uh, I was asking, uh, uh, you're going to play one of your own arrangements now? Yes, I'm going to play a uh, milonga by a composer who um, was very, very well respected as a maestro of maestros in the world of uh, guitar in Argentina. Back in the 40s, uh, he, he used to lead uh, big guitar ensembles, like 10, 15 guitars in mm -hmm. the ensemble. And he called them Esquadrones de Guitarra, Guitar Squads. And, um, Is this like Gardel Lepera y los todos guitaristas? Well, Gardel Lepera <laughs> uh, used the traditional guitar trio to accompany a singer. Uh -huh. uh, so that was very popular. There was mm -hmm. also other uh, singers at Gardel's time, like Ignacio Corsini or Charlo, mm -hmm. using mm -hmm. the same lineup for accompaniment. And that mm. remains very popular, the trio. But this was exceptional because it was a guitar squad. It was like 10, 15 guitarists in the band. And that's very uncommon. Um, and uh, he uh, was very influential. Some of the guitarists in those squads were very young at the time, but they became the biggest maestros of tango guitar, like Ubaldo De Lillo mm -hmm. or uh, Roberto Grela. They were playing in. Uh, this guitar squad led by the composer that I will interpret now, uh, who is Abel Fleury. Abel mm -hmm. Fleury. Uh, he was also a classical guitarist and he left uh, many compositions are today played uh, on guitar across the world at, at the conservatories because he, he's one of the rare guitarists who actually wrote down what he played. Um, and this is called Milongueo de la Cher. I'm going to remove my headphones because I don't like to play with headphones.
Sí, vamos. Guillermo. Buenísimo. Gracias. So, milongueo del ayer. ¿Qué es milongueo? It would be the act of milonguear. Milongueo is the act of... Yeah. It's, Milongue it's a, milongueando? Right. Milongueando would be the gerundif. Uh, milongueo see, would be the noun. Noun, okay, got yeah. it. All right. Great. So uh, now we move into Pablo Estigaribia coming to hey. from Buenos Aires. And uh, Pablo, go ahead. It's all yours. Well, um, first of all, I want to say thank you, Alex, because putting together these concerts are, is really refreshing. I think both for the people and for us that we get, you, you know, you're creating a virtual theater for us. So thank you for that. I mean, it's and God knows it's not easy. I mean, it's not like, you know, there's a lot of things with technology it's, as well. It's so. easier than the actual theater. <laughs> right. Well, it is. It's cheaper, though. Um, so thank fakes, you for that. Sm smoke and mirrors, right? Right. Uh, but thank you for going through all the trouble of putting this together. And I just want to say I'm, I'm really happy uh, of being a part uh, of this uh, concert tonight and sharing stage, well, stage with, um, with Guillermo, uh, which, is a, which is a musician and dancer that has been spreading tango for the Bay Area for many years now. And that's very appreciative as, our, as an Argentine artist. It's like so important to have ambassadors all over the world. And uh, well, Guido, yes. that uh, he's only 23 years old and he's already a great bandoneonist. We need more people like you, Guido. God knows that. So thank you for putting us together. I like to play a tango now. Uh, enough chit chat. I'm gonna start uh, my set with a great tango by Eduardo Arolas. That's called La Cachila. But first I need to change cameras. I need to reset the, the mic. So give, give me a second, bear with me for a second here.
That was awesome. So, uh, yes, so. was this your own arrangement? Thank you, guys. Yeah, this is this is an arrangement. I haven't wrote it yet, but yeah, it's it's in writing stages. You haven't wrote, wrote it yet? Okay, okay. I didn't just, write it yet. Okay, you just doodle that. Yeah, but it's it's such a great song. I mean, it's you you don't practically has to do anything with it. The the melody right. is so nice that. Right. Right. Okay. So can you tell us before you go uh, what the like a chili means? I have no idea. I'm just joking. Achille. It's supposed to be a bird, right? I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> I don't know. Guillermo maybe can help me with this. You know, I know. But I think it's it's a like a chila is. Is a, a bird. bird. Okay. Let's look it up. Okay. <laughs> I think it's a bird. Uh, okay, it's some kind of bird. Okay, I never, uh, I never took the time to okay. look at it. I up. thought you guys know from the top tip of your tongues, but uh, okay, we'll table this discussion for later. So a small uh, bird. Uh, ah, small I bird. win. Okay. <laughs> All right. Possibly, good. possibly the long tail reed finch. All right. Okay. Okay. okay now we know. Great. So it was a bird. Okay. I wasn't. All right. It is a bird. All right. I'd like to move it uh, back to Guido. So, uh, Guido, I remember I, I met you a few years ago, maybe two or three years ago at Stowe, Vermont. And uh, for those who didn't take time to read the bios, uh, Guido is actually a very talented player. He was a finalist and the medalist of the uh, Stowe, Stowe uh, the, uh, Tango Music Festival, the Bandonion competition, the Che Bandonion. Amazing. So now three years later, is uh, more than amazing. I'm looking forward to hear what are you gonna play next. So, so all yours. Yes, amazing, amazing uh, contest. And um, it's I meet a really nice person in the contest uh, of all parts of the world. It's a very great experience. And uh, if you if you can. Uh, if uh, somebody is, uh, is watching me and it's possible to you uh, travel and participate to the contest, do it. Uh, I want to thank uh, Alex to invite me and I want to say I'm going to play uh, two songs. The first one is from Leopoldo Federico called Mi Poche Querido and the second one is Recuerdo de Bohemia uh, from Enrique Delfino. Uh, with Rodolfo Cholo Montironi's arrangement. Thanks.
Hermosura. Muy buena, una joya, sí. una joya. Gracias. This is uh, hard, the hard one, the next. <laughs> Let's see. Recuerdo de Bohemia. <risa> Guillermo Garcia, all the way from Berkeley, California, who is now going to play what? Um, I'm first going to gonna play E, B, G, all right. D, A, and E. I think I heard that before. 
It's a very common song between guitarists. <laughs> <laughs> I know that one. <laughs> you know, I, I had a friend who was a guitarist, and uh, once he didn't tune, uh -huh. and he died. So. Yeah, we don't want that. But he was fine afterwards, right? <laughs> <laughs> So I'm going to play a couple of arrangements I made for the guitar. Uh, one is uh, from uh, is a song from Osvaldo Fresedo, who was um, the director of a very romantic orchestra which had a jazzy element to it. It was they called it La Orquesta de los Pitucos. I don't know how to translate that exactly to English, uh, but um, he the played posh? Huh? The, the orchestra for the posh? Maybe that would work. Uh, right? yeah. uh, and uh, this uh, song uh, is one of the <coughs> rare tangos where the lyrics don't talk about drama and, uh, or, uh, or somebody complaining that he was left by his partner or things like that. This talks about the wind of the pampas, which is called the viento pampero. And um, the name of the song is Pampero by Osvaldo Fresedo. Um, I uh, composed a little introduction for the song, which is very much a guitar introduction uh, as far as style. And uh, then let's see how it comes through.
That was amazing, man. Fresedo. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, well, you could hear Fresedo. <laughs> yeah. Fresedo was amazing. Yeah. Fresedo was uh, somewhat in the same style as Joaquin Mora, in a way, you know, like uh, in the harmonies. Like, uh, Joaquin Mora has this song called Masaja that uh, uh, my friend uh, Seth Asarnov made me focus on and appreciate really how gorgeous that song is. Uh, similar to Fresedo. And now I'll continue with a composer I, I admire, a very talented composer and pianist, Mariano Mores, and he made this uh, beautiful tango that is called Uno. Uno tiene que afinar la guitarra. Eh, eso sería el primer renglón de la, de la letra. This, I just finished this arrangement, so I hope I can pull it off.
Bravo, Uno by Mariano Mores. So uh, I wanted to switch it to Pablo, but I wanted to share my uh, observations. So we have three performers today, two of them, Guillermo Garcia and Guido Galazza, a first and last name starting with G. So Pablo, I think you, for tonight, you have to change your name. So I... I you I say Gesti Garribia. Uh, or I don't know, uh, Gabriel... Gabriel Garello or Gaston uh, Gojaneche, something like that. <laughs> and you, you would be uh, Alex Goitman? No, 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 no. I'm not. I'm not playing today. <laughs> I'm not playing today. <laughs> so uh, let me bring you up. So uh, Pablo, what are you going to play for us? All right. Um, for me to, the reason why I. I uh, decided to dedicate my my career and my my, my musical life to tango. Uh, came came on came on to me when I heard Horacio Salgan. I mean, I'm Argentine. I have heard tango before that, but when I heard Horacio Salgan play tango, I immediately felt uh, compelled by it, and I I was just I want to do this. You know, it's like I heard the duo Salgan de Leo. And I, I remember they were playing Mariados, Los Mariados, and they were putting this beautiful harmonies with such uh, style and elegance. And I said, yeah, this is, this is it. So um, whenever I can, I play uh, a song by Horacio Salgan to remember him and thank him for all we got from him. So um, this time I'm going to play a waltz that I really like by Horacio Salgan, that's called Motivo de Vals. Hope you like it. Thank you. 
Wow, bravo. Amazing, Pablo. Sargan. All so, right. Thank you. So when I first met you, that was also in Stowe in 2016. We played that song and... Um, uh, All right. Yeah, on, on his original arrangement. And that was the year Salgan died, actually. Right? You remember we were in Stowe? Was, yeah, uh, I remember we, we were supposed to play with the trio in the final concert of Stowe and we, we forced an arrangement uh, of Don Agustin Bardi to, to honor Salgan that year. It was 2015, wasn't it? 16, 16. 16, all right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, so uh, how do I bring it back? Okay, this way. All right, what's next? Yeah, um, well, as Guido said, this is the, this is the difficult one. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to play a, an arrangement of a song that I really like. It's another great composer that to me is like a second Piazzolla. Of, I mean, it's, it's, he's that good, a composer. And his name is Julian Plaza. And uh, this arrangement uh, that I did, I did many arrangements of this song and it, I never get tired of it. It's so good, so well written. Um, it's, it's called Danzarin. And um, I'd like to dedicate this one to my father-in-law that really liked this song.
impressionante. That was amazing. Oh, thanks. That was, uh, that was Victor's Lavagen variation, by the way. That's originally for Bandoneon, so yeah. you know. <laughs> you you, you transcribe it to the piano. New dress yeah, of Danzarin. <laughs> the what? A new dress of Danzarin. Danzarin yeah. very, I, re yeah. I really love it. It's, it's very ingenious. It takes yeah. the... Uh, and, yeah. and keeps the pedal on top. It's, it's really ingenious. Did Lavagen have yeah. pedal in his in his music? He he <laughs> used his pedal a lot. Yes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> two of them. Yeah, two, exactly. both of them. <laughs> cool. This is amazing. So, uh, thank you, Pablo. Uh, I wanted to mention to our listeners, uh, uh, we you know these are free concerts. We don't charge admission. We would love to you know if you to be able to support musicians. So if you feel like donating, you can. Definitely donate through PayPal, and uh, the uh, you're watching it on YouTube. The stream title and the first line in description tells you how to donate. There is a PayPal address, so if you feel like helping out, please do. If you can't, that's that's fine. We're happy that you're here and you're listening. We'd love to share the music, but if you if you can help out in this difficult time, please feel free. So with that out of the way. I'd like to move the spotlight to Mr. Guido Gavazza again, all the way from Rosario. Guido, what are you going to play now? I'm going to play um, Cafetín de Buenos Aires. Thank you. 
Bravo Guido! Bravo! Spettacolare! Capitin de Buenos Aires, Guido Cavazza. Formosura. Germo is doing an encore. An encore? <laughs> well, I heard you tune before, so that's an encore. Oh, each, time, <laughs> each time you stop playing the guitar, the temperature of the strings changes. Oh, yeah? And they... When, it, it, does that count as an encore? If, if someone asks for an encore, you just tune and... Yeah, that was it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> e, e, B, A, G... I heard that happen small. once during a, a, I think it was a Ravi Shankar concert that they, they spent like 10 minutes playing something and the public applauded at the end and they said, thank you, we were just tuning. But he has a lot more strings than you do. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, uh, I, I have one guitar with one extra string, uh, be careful. So while we're waiting, uh, just, you know, Pablo is watching the comments, but I just want to mention to Guido and Guillermo, there is tons of comments. You guys not watching them, you'll read them later, but there is lots of support for you online. So uh, Thank you have you. to take my Thank word you. in it. And Gracias. Uh, I'm gonna um, <laughs> hand it over to Guillermo. Okay, so I, I will finish with um, another uh, milonga by Abel Fleury as well as the first one I played. This one is also widely played um, in, in the world of classical guitar because uh, he, he wrote it down and uh, it was also played uh, notably by Salgan and De Leo in their duo. They had a, an arrangement uh, that was uh, historical, I would say. Uh, so I made a, a, a guitar solo arrangement, uh, let's see how it comes through. Te vas milonga.
It's a great song to finish. So is it uh, technically milonga? Tell us what is this? This is milonga. Yeah. Abel Fleury wrote it as milonga urbana, milonga uh -huh. ciudadana. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, is, is this the original arrangement or is yours? No, this is my arrangement. Yes, I, ah, I okay. completely changed uh, the original. Yes, yes. It was the a waltz. Original, the original, uh, <laughs> I would say, es más campestre. The, the style of the original arrangement is uh, a little more countryside, uh -huh. but uh, he, he actually indicated to play it as uh, uh, Milonga Ciudadana. So, but you know, there's always this uh, uh, gray uh, area. Yes, exactly. <laughs> fuzzy area between uh, countryside That's and cool. urban Milonga. All right. Great. Thank you, Guillermo. So, uh, okay. bringing up Pablo now. And uh, I just want to want to say to the audience, uh, after Pablo is done playing, I'm going to post our Zoom link. If you guys want to come and hang out for a few minutes with artists, if you want to ask, talk to them, feel free. So we're going to make it open after the end. Don't leave right away. Um, and uh, that's it, Pablo. It's all yours. Take it away. All right. So um, actually, this this last song I'm going to play is also a milonga. And it's a very well, very well known one too. And uh, I haven't played it in a while because I, in 2017, had this, this wonderful and, and very troubling idea of writing tango for the concert hall and just make it virtuosic and sort of list-like or Rachmaninoff-like or whatever. And I wrote a, a book of 16 of these arrangements, which I'm playing less and less because they're too difficult. But today, um, I'd like, to, like to try it out. Uh, this is an arrangement from, from that book that is called Tangos de Concierto. And I'm going to say goodbye with La Puñalada. Uh, thank you guys uh, for having me tonight. It's been a pleasure sharing stage, virtual stage with you. And I hope we meet again very soon. Stay, stay on the Zoom link afterwards so we can grab a drink together. Thank you.
Espectacular. What the Espectacular. Amazing, amazing song and amazing arrangement. Great job, Pablo. Thank you. So uh, this was uh, La Puñalada. Exactly like that Ian recorded in 1952. <laughs> Verbatim copy. I, I can't hear you, Pablo. Is your mic on? Different mic? No, okay. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Okay, okay. Amazing job. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for having me. It was great. So, so folks, this is the end of our show. Mr. Guido Gavazza, Mr. Guillermo Garcia, and Pablo Estigarribia all played for you live today. And uh, I'm just going to post this uh, link to the Zoom that we are hanging out in. I'm going to put it in live chat. I'm also going to put it as a comment because once I stop the broadcast, the live chat, my understanding is live chat is going to go away. So just give me one second. I'll do a little comment here. There, other public comment. So, and uh, as I mentioned before, if you feel like helping financially, all the money will go to the street performance you just saw. Please help out. If not, we love you anyway. So don't feel obliged, but help is appreciated. And with that said, I think I'm going to try to share my screen and put the um, curtain back if I can. And this is the different curtain now. try again no okay okay we're gonna go with that so uh i'm gonna stop the broadcast momentarily please feel free to come chat with us and uh we'll try to put on more shows in the future so how do i do this so Pablo, how how can you play this song without the lead of the piano? I thought you need chick chick at the end. No, oh, it's terrible. It's terrible. You're missing I, the, I, the, the, I, the I, I'm, I'm missing. That's that's the the part where everyone claps. Yeah. Okay, I'm trying to stop the uh, uh, the stream, and I'm saying and so it's gonna be over soon. Thank you very much, everybody, for listening.